Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to the channel. Today is February 25th of Follow a Sketch February. This month has flown by, you guys. Today's sketch is by Jenny Evans. It is this one right here. It calls for three photos. There's some more circles on there, lots of stars. I'm taking it literal. I have my stars. My photos are going to be a little bit of a different uh, orientation. They're going to be landscape instead of portrait. And I've got a whole bunch of products, so let's see what I can do. All right, guys, so I do have a good old pile of supplies right here, and I am starting with this background paper. It's got some dots and lines on it. It is an Echo Park paper. Um, I can't remember. It's from a travel line, just like this paper is over here. I think this might be the same collection. Now, I did decide that I was going to use this big old word right here as my title. Um, the sketch does call for a large title at the top of the page. I just made mine extra large. I am a fan of this striped paper as well, so I am going to make sure to use this. Now, in the sketch, the horizontal line underneath of the title, that pattern paper is not as large as what I have on the sketch. Uh, but my photos are also going to be a little bit larger and a little bit of a different orientation. So I think I said in the intro, this is when we went to Solvang in California. So Solvang is a town where the Dutch settlers actually did end up settling. <laughs> um, they ended up here in California and kind of built this town and it turned into like almost like a tourist destination, right? Now, Leavenworth in Washington, we found out was a completely man-made town. Like somebody came in and said, we're gonna build a Bavarian town right here. And they did. <laughs> so it's interesting to see the differences between a town that kind of organically happened where um, the settlers kind of settled <laughs> versus um, a town where it was built. So just just a little bit of a, of a fun and kind of different experience for us. But we, we enjoyed both towns. Um, really wish we could go back to Solvang again. We've been to Leavenworth a couple times now, and now we really, we still really want to go back to Solvang. Um, I am going to go ahead and fussy cut the lines on this uh, red paper right here. And that's just going to give my paper a little bit of kind of like a texture and dimension. Um, you can kind of do the same thing if you tore your paper, but since the paper was kind enough to give me these really awesome lines, I just decided to follow on that line and go ahead and give it a cut. So these are uh, orange tickets and they are going to go across the page as well. Um, since the tickets are not exactly a 12 inch length, I decided to kind of camouflage that by building uh, my page on top of them and not having them poke through. Now I will mess around with where uh, my papers are going to fall on these lines right here because I don't want them uh, cutting off on a particular point on the line, I want you to be able to see all of the stripes. So this uh, bigger photo is going to go over here on the left. And it's just trying to figure out where I want to position it um, because I am going to be using the stars. As you can see, I have some stars already out here and I just decided that uh, the sketch called for stars. Well, it doesn't really call for stars. It just is using stars as where you're going to embellish. And I decided, you know what? I want to embellish with stars. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So this is what you do when you, when you get down to the very last bits of your paper. I went ahead and cut out um, a rectangle out of the paper because you don't even need to see that the that yellow and white paper is not fully uh, behind the layout here. I'm also going to use this paper to tuck in under here 
just to give it a little bit more. So I'm trying to um, follow the sketch a little bit, I guess, <laughs> um, by having uh, same papers on the left side of the page and on the right side of the page. So I feel like that is uh, going pretty well right here. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to make the red work um, because I don't have enough paper um, to have the red go all the way down um, from the top here underneath the tickets to the bottom. Now I could have, because I do have that red paper that's off to the side, but if I use it the way that it's uh, facing right now, it wouldn't have the same pattern as the red on the left hand side and for some reason the the direction of the pattern this time was really important to me and I felt like it needed to be the same uh, so in this case I'm not gonna make my paper work for me I'm gonna work for a paper now um, I do realize that some of this stuff looks and feels a little crooked and I don't know if it's because it's actually crooked or it's because of the pattern kind of line with the red stuff. So I will eventually get a straight edge uh, to make sure that the red uh, pattern paper that I'm kind of piecing together right here will actually uh, be straight. But it does have that wonky line effect and it feels unstraight. So I'm going to sit here and mess with this for a hot second just to make sure that it gets um, straight. So the picture of Christopher and I is going to go down on the bottom. Um, and as you can see, just by looking at my layout so far in the sketch, you can see where I came from. Like you can tell where I am getting the inspiration from this sketch right here uh, instead of following it exactly. And honestly, you guys, I get more joy um, out of doing my own thing and kind of doing what I want than um, following something exactly. It's just, see there, there's where I pulled up that straight edge. Um, it's, it's just more fun. Like right now we're on, we're on the cruise ship and, um, I'm, I'm not, I'm not following along with the class. <laughs> I know that that sounds, that might sound a little bit terrible, but I'm doing, uh, kind of my own thing. I'm letting the class instructions be a guide, but, um, I'm just kind of doing my own thing because it makes me happy. So I've got these, uh, stars. Uh, right here so I'm going to throw them down on the layout there's going to be a variety of colors of stars and that is a totally good thing because there are a variety of colors on this layout um, even though most of them are covered up <laughs> like look at that striped paper you guys a lot of my colors are covered up on it and it's okay I decided that my title up here, Adventure, uh, needed to have some more stars as well. So I took a couple of them of the smaller sizes and just uh, placed them on there, um, kind of hanging off the letters. And then I'm going to add some even more stars because, you know, why not, right? Like, I've got lots of stars on here and I need lots more. Um, and then I'm like, oh, even more stars. So I'm going to pull some of these gold ones off of this sticker sheet right here and going to go ahead and use those as well. So I am getting to the end of the sticker sheet um, of basically usable things. Um, it's funny because usually a flower is one of the first things off of a sticker sheet, uh, but not this time. Um, there are like two hunks of flowers and while they coordinate they don't match so there's these two big ones um, and then on the other side there is one more 
and I just haven't found the layout where I need those florals on it yet. I've tried, but um, hasn't exactly worked. Um, so I grab a couple of the word phrase stickers here as well, because I figure why not going to pop on yet another star. <laughs> Um, but le what's left on that sticker sheet, uh, there's like popsicles and, and things like that. Um, and then I need to um, finish off my title and I'm going to use this gold word. I'm going to poke out the center of the E because it drives me crazy when letters still have the centers of the holes and all that stuff still stuck on them. It's like, no, get off of them. And then I decided not to um, use those letter stickers. So I'm putting them off to the side and then I'm going to go grab some other letter stickers because they did not exactly meet up with my expectations. The color was great, right? Like the color was great. However, um, it just didn't, just didn't work. So I pulled out these really tiny Kaiser Craft uh, tile letter stickers and I am going to spell out the rest of my title so my title is going to be hey let's I don't know if it's let's have an adventure or let's go on an adventure but basically that's the gist of it right like it's we're going on an adventure and I don't remember how exactly um they started being called adventures, but when Christopher and I go out and Lana calls, she asks us if we're on an adventure. <laughs> I don't I don't know exactly how it started. I wonder if she knows. <laughs> Not sure. Okay. So then I am messing around with these silver stars. Now this is all I have left of this silver star kind of almost washi tape. It's more like a glitter tape, uh, but it does live with the washi. And I decided that I needed to go ahead and use this up. And as you can see, it's getting kind of fragile, fragile, <laughs> getting kind of fragile. Um, I don't know why fragile just came out of my mouth, but it's getting kind of fragile. And um, it ripped apart a couple times. So I'm just going to uh, put it back together while I'm placing it down here and get those stars all the way across. So that adds a little bit of shining, shimmering, splendid along with the shining, shimmering, splendid of the other larger stars. So now I've got this, um, these naked chipboard stars, right? And I can't leave them as naked chipboard. Uh, because there's all kinds of colors and goodness going on on this layout right now. And I need to keep all the colory goodness uh, going, right? Like, it's like, still need to do the colory goodness. Now, I did have some acrylic stars left over um, from uh, one of the Scrapping Reflections acrylic sets. But I decided not to put those on. Um, I am going to put some liquid adhesive on this hay word um, because it it needed it and then we're gonna add some liquid adhesive on the things that um, looked like they were popping up as well and now it's time to get some color on these stars so I am thinking that I'm going to use uh, some color on them imagine that so I'm taking a Copic marker and I'm going to go ahead and just color the star to give it this nice bright blue or dark. I want to say bright. This is more like a dark blue, but it does um, pop off the page when it's on there. So we're going to call it uh, bright in that sense. Um, I didn't want to stick my finger down on the chipboard and pick up any of the marker on my finger. So I'm using the cap to hold on to it um, when I need to flip the star around to color the other sides of the star. Now, this might be considered a poor use 
of Copic markers. Um, but to me, it's not because I'm getting color on something and I'm using a marker to do it and it completely works. Uh, I do like to uh, color with them. I think that they're real fun to color with, um, like actual images and things, but they're also really great to color on top of chipboard, you guys, like really great to cover color on top of chipboard. Um, and now I just need to get the stars uh, onto the layout. I'm going to use some Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive. And look at that. I'm kind of putting the glue and a star shape on the back of it. Why? I don't know. Because I was feeling extra in that moment, I guess. But then once these stars get down on this page, then that will do it for this layout. I don't think I'm adding anything else. I was thinking about adding some gold splatter because why not? It just adds a little bit more shining, shimmering, splendid to the layout. But ultimately, I think I am good. But I'm talking to somebody, obviously. I think I'm talking to Christopher. I think he's sitting across the room from me. But you guys, that is going to do it for this layout. I cannot believe that we are almost to the end of Follow a Sketch February, you guys. Thank you so much for coming along and joining with me. Uh, this year. Now, if you're coming uh, into uh, these videos later into the month or you've just never heard of it before, go join the Scrapping Reflections Facebook group. The sketches will be there along with the past couple years so you can play along anytime. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys again real soon for another video.